Now then, ladies and gentlemen, I do realize I am not Hiram Cook. So people do not like to watch me boil water. But, you know what? I decided I want a cup of coffee. And since I splurged, I'm all the way here to get me some Baileys. I thought I'd share the making of a cup of coffee with you. I've already got the water on to boil. Probably should have did this before I made the salmon. There's my coffee. Normally I use the powdered creamer, but we're going to skip that today. I will, however, still be using my normal sweetener kit. Or blue and a pink for that size coffee. See, like a lot of you guys out there, I'm still using an instant coffee. But I'm not paying $10 for six tubes of that three-in-one stuff. That is just ridiculous. I'm not saying the product is ridiculous. I'm saying the price they charge for it is ridiculous. Ooh, starting to get a steam on my water. Hey, here's a tip for you. For those of you out there that do use paper packets for your sweeteners and stuff, don't just throw them away. Don't just stick them in the fire. Tinder to start a fire. Now a lot of you are going to think this odd. Embarado, you just put blue sweetener in there. Why are you putting pink? Well, Here's the thing, that blue sweetener is aspartame, a.k.a. equal, except that I get the Great Value brand from Walmart. Cheaper. Jeez, anybody picking up on a trend here? Cheap, cheap, yes, I'm a cheap bastard, pardon my French. Uh, the problem with aspartame is, you could put eight packs of it in here and it wouldn't be sweet enough, at least not for my taste. Four of these, though, would sweeten it quite nicely for the sweet factor. Trouble is, you put four of these pink packets in there and you get that nasty aftertaste. So what I do is I take a two to one ratio, blue to pink, and I use half as much of each as would be required for the amount of what I'm trying to sweeten. So if it would take eight blues and it still wouldn't be sweet enough, and it would take four of these but give me the nasty aftertaste, then two of these and four of the blue, and it's just perfect. Tastes like you use regular sugar. I promise you it does. And trust me, I'm a snob when it comes to my sweetener. I've tried them uh, packets of stevia. I was not impressed. Yum yum, fried egg sandwich, ham and cheese, yeah, buddy. Mm. Now I do not want this to completely boil. Can you tell how long I've been using these gloves around fire? Look how black them fingertips are. Unfortunately, they're almost too small for my hand anymore. Almost. Because of the arthritis, making the joint swell. Now, I do not want this water to completely boil. That's too hot. I want you to notice something. There was no water source here on hand. It's another reason why having my truck close to hand is good for me because I got a five gallon jerry can in the back there full of water 
Plus I have two one gallon jugs to work from. And if one of them goes empty, I can always refill it from the jerry can. I think that'll be hot enough, starting to form bubbles on the side. I don't like my coffee much hotter than about 190 and 195. Any hotter and it just plain too hot. Remember I told you that thing burns screwy when you first fill it? Now it's back to burning where it belongs. Now then. Give that a good stir. Oh bother. Now I gotta sit back on here and hope it don't tip over. Ah, bluff. As I went and forgot to take the inner foil label off of this thing first. I told you, I just got it yesterday on the way here. A little bit of a splurge. I only buy this stuff once in a blue moon. Like I say, just as a splurge item. Mm. Good, 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 good. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I've said it before that I'm a teetotaler. Meaning... I don't drink alcohol. Now, yes, I know there's another meaning for that, uh, teetotaler, meaning uh, you only drink tea. Well, 90% of the time, I really do just drink tea. I drink coffee on occasions. And on rarer occasions, I even enjoy a shot of Irish whiskey. But I do it the artificial flavor instead of the real McCoy. Now, the real McCoy, I will do on even more rare occasions. Probably uh, one in 500 cups of coffee I'll have the real McCoy Irish whiskey in it. And if I'm only drinking uh, one cup of coffee out of every um, 500 cups of hot beverage, you can see that's not very often that I'm drinking real whiskey in it. Ah, yes indeedy, yes indeedy. Damn, that's a good cup of coffee, Jay Null. <laughs> With that, I'll talk to y'all a little later.